Bars and restaurants will likely be the stop because you won't be able to watch the game at a watch party here at Faneuil Hall. And that's coming as welcome news to some businesses. Nolan Hamilton getting things ready. You can't run out of anything on time like this, obviously. Stocking up on beer, liquor, and food at Hurricanes and sister restaurant The Harp. Expecting big business for games three and four of the NBA Finals. And after a tough time with staffing early on, they're ready to go now. An extended postseason for the Celtics and the bartenders. It's crazy, a lot of long nights, but this is what the staff, you know, kind of waits for all year long. So it's a huge payoff um, to get to the finals and kind of stretches the season out um, as much as they can. At halftime pizza, it's a similar vibe. It's going to be a zoo. It's going to be a madhouse. I don't know really like what else to say about it other than that, but it's going to be exciting and I can't wait for it. The energy is going to be there. And after two well-attended watch parties for games one and two, the city announcing there won't be one tomorrow due to incoming rain. Fans wishing they held it anyways. This week is stunning, so everybody should be out celebrating the Celtics. But this is actually good news for places like the Harp and Hurricanes. With the rain, um, we expect more people to be indoors here. Um, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate for them, but it's good for us. Now, even though there's no watch party here tomorrow due to the rain, it's still unclear whether or not the city will hold one on Friday for Game 4. We're live at Faneuil Hall tonight. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB.